you grow up with it. So missing out, no, not necessarily, because we were always a close-knit family. Not until I think I married Dad, and Dad had aunts and uncles and cousins and things like that, you start to realize, I never had that. So it was very surprising when we got off the bus and this truck pulls up and honks their horn and it's like, hey, we know those people. And it was Auntie Mina and Leslie. It was wonderful. No, I didn't, but I can tell. You and Jillian are close in age. Is she just a you? Is she 50? Yes. Yes. When do you turn 50? Yes. She's October. So back year Jillian next is year. October. I didn't know that. Back year she next year. She's 50 this year then. That's October. I think she already turned 50 in October. Didn't she go? The Joker. Jill did, yes. Fisherman Mark. Look, there's no edge in this. No, there's no edge. Nothing. Yeah, look, there's no edge. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a deck and just about a few inches. It was wonderful to see Auntie Mina. I don't think she had changed much at all. Not at all. And I think she was just as excited to see us. And so was Leslie. Auntie Shirley was wonderful. She's a little bit farther away from everybody. Um, she's at Glenrothes. So it was a little bit longer of a bus ride and stuff for us. And it's in a totally opposite direction. Um, that was a while ago. That was at Valerie's 25th anniversary. Yeah. So that was two years ago. That was at Green's Wedding. That's a oh, more, yeah. That's yeah. a more recent one of that, yeah. David. So here, yeah. That was on a cruise. Yeah. We'll go quite a lot of cruises. Do you? Yeah. Uh, like m myself, connection, none. I mean, I remember we hadn't lived here for very long and I remember it was the first time I ever seen Papa cry and they had got the phone call from, I'm assuming one of Papa's brothers, that his dad had passed away. And so Papa had to go back to Scotland for the service. But other than that, I mean, only being five, I didn't remember a lot of them. I was excited when Gran came and when Gran and Granddad came, but they didn't come very often. Gran came after Gran, after Granddad passed away. And um, actually I found out when we were in Scotland this last time that she stayed for six months. I didn't realize she stayed for six months. And it wasn't until after that I remember we went back when I had my 16th birthday over there and then we came back to Canada. I remember then like Auntie Shirley and Uncle Jim coming over and Uncle Jeff and Auntie Mina coming over, but I was older then. <laughs> you work with her or something? Oh, no. She works in the, the cafe at the work. I'm in Carol. You never guess who I'm going to see to my kids. I'm in Carol. And she says, oh, <laughs> hi. Oh, my gosh. It's so good to see you. She helped somebody. How are you doing? How are you? It was amazing to see Jock because we had connected on Facebook and stuff like that. And I'm a little bit, a couple of years older than him. And so, and like I say, being kids and stuff and you're a few years apart, you don't really have a lot to do with each other. But so connecting on Facebook and stuff like that, and we had chatted back and forth and we've seen pictures and things. I just felt like I knew him. So it was amazing to see him and meet Karen and the kids and stuff. It was wonderful. When I went online and rented this little cottage, I had no idea where it would be. I knew it was in the area, but I didn't realize how close it was. So when Jock came over that day and we were giving him a little tour of the cottage, he says, Auntie Rosalind lives right there. That's her window. <laughs> Did he bother? Well, Did you see? Bother just now. <laughs> no, no peeping tongues, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's everybody laughing at you. Now. Look, you've got everybody laughing at you. <laughs> Hang on, I'll put you on speaker. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, I see. You better grab your shoes or something, or put them on. Good night. Yes, Carol, coming out to see you. No, but see now, you're short. Oh my gosh, it should be a good thing. You can't all go under my windows to hear if you have any carry on. Aye, aye. There's no, no, there's no carry on. Between the garages. What is that? <laughs> 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 
And then my cousin Harry, Rosalind's son, he has bought a, a cottage and him and his wife Jenny are building onto this cottage. Right now they're living with her mom and dad. Anyways, the cottage was across the street pretty much. Basically it was across the street. We could have thrown a rock and hit this little cottage. It was, it's just so cool. <laughs> so, this, okay, this has been a silly question, but how are you going to get your car through? Yeah. Right inside. In there. Oh. Drive it aside, drive it aside. Head, head in the scuffle. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay, so from there it didn't look uh, like it was that wide. Yeah. The car is still here. The driveway comes right here. Right. It was wonderful to see Tina and Charlie. It really was. Because I don't know what it's like there, right, with all of them. And, and Charlie even said they don't see as, each other as maybe as much as they should. Right? And everybody's busy with their lives, just like, I mean, we are here now and stuff. All but I remember... wanted to take back was a Davy Crockett hat. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> and a fringe jacket. I saw got a fringe jacket. Oh, dear. Oh, that's a fringe jacket. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah, I've still got that. That's all she wanted. She came to Canada. Yeah. yeah. Davy Crockett hat and a fringe jacket. And then I came home oh, one day. That was on my hun That was my honeymoon. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my <gosh. laughs> Yeah, that was my maternity clothes that I bought when I was out in Canada because I was so big that I couldn't fit into the clothes. I, I must have had a purse. <laughs> Is that Mike kissing your mum? Yeah. I can't find the one. There's one with you, Bob, oh. kissing mum as well. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. I think she had to kiss you, so. Thank you, Maud. Oh, Tina, that's but I remember Tina and Charlie because I seen them. They had come to Canada and stuff. So it was lovely to see them. It was wonderful to meet Tina's daughters and meet her granddaughter. And that's the special part about it all. We all have our own kids now and some of them are all grandparents and whatnot. So that's really fun. Okay, let me see. Oh! <laughs> Hello. 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 But it was wonderful. I mean, even Auntie Jeannie, she was amazing. And Auntie Jeannie doesn't do very much. She's a homebody and stays at home, but she welcomed us into her house and had tea and cookies, and it was wonderful. How are you doing today? I'm just caught in the very You're very welcome. You're welcome. See, that's how I remember Granny Gabby. I know. I'm going to get a bit of tea from the biscuits. Oh, not sure. But that's Carol, I think your mum and your mum made that. Yes. Um, we all got one. Did we you? all got uh, one, yeah. Um, mum made one for all of us. Super, eh? She did a lot of good I've got stuff on the stairs, I get what that from her there with the hound dog on it. <laughs> I remember when we were there when we were sixteen, because we stayed at Granny Gubby's. But, like I said, down the road Uncle Waddy and Auntie Marlene lived, so a couple of us would go down there and have a shower in the morning. So it was neat to see where his final resting place is, him and Auntie Marlene. He was 72. He was 72 when he passed. Well, he's been 82 now, he's been all the money is So was he older than dad or younger than dad? No, he's younger. He was younger than dad. So dad would have been 83. I don't know why it's between us all. He joked with me, 77 and 16. Yeah, 77. And I'm about 79 in September. So they were just two years. Just two years between us all. Yeah. 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 And I'm more than my sister, she'd have been 80. Yeah. 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 Maud, no Maud. Oh, then Maud. <laughs> then you. I'm then sorry, you. I'm making you older than you are. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's used to it. He's used to it. <laughs> and then Uncle Jock, and oh, then Auntie Rosalind. Road, and, yeah. okay. and then when you start losing relatives, like when, when Granddad passed away, I didn't really know, right? I was young. But then when Gran passed away, I kind of remember that. And it was sad. I mean, she was my Gran, and she was a neat lady. And then when my other grand passed away and Richard, my granddad, it, it hits you a little bit more. But it was more so like when Auntie Maud passed away because Auntie Maud had come over to Canada twice, two or three times actually. And so things like that. And then you start to realize that even though you didn't really know them, she's still your aunt. And so, yeah, 
you do miss it. You start to realize, I never grew up with family like that. Cheesecake. 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 I learned today it's sausage. Sausage. Whiskey is one of these subjects actually. It's like a, a football coupon or a tartan uh, for flavour or whatever you like, you know? So, so uh, there's, there's loads of different flavours and loads of things. And it's whatever the mood you are in the, on the day actually that you uh, enjoy the whiskey or whatever. So, first of all, I'm going to give you a, a taste of a smooth whiskey. To me, this is a lady's whiskey. See? It depends on how you're feeling that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Sausages! Sausage party! That was Tina today. She came up with it. I don't know. Can you know it's Harry's friend? Come here. 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 Don't sip it, Neil. Whatever you do. <laughs> You'll be down. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Somebody's pushing you over. Harry, you're pushing me on. Harry, you are pushing me on. See if you didn't even see that. Uncle Andrew, when he came to the Largo Law to spread Uncle Jock's ashes that day, he reminded me so much of Papa. I felt bad because I cried and but he was like a little, he's a little bit smaller than Papa, but he looks like Papa, he talked like Papa, he walked like Papa when you seen him walking from behind. Sorry, I'm emotional. Oh my God. 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 It was a wonderful visit we had. And then when he came and got us, um, the couple of days later to go for a walk with his dog, Megan, which was kind of funny. Um, it, it was just a great morning. We had a, a great, great morning with him and they walks twice a day with his dog, Megan. What's that? A bird? Frog. Oh dear. It's a shame that, you know, because they're very scared too. Frogs? Aye. Really? Well, that's it. One years ago, you know when you go to follow this other way, dude? Yeah. I didn't care how many young, young ones. Who's that? You can't, 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 you get them off the wood. It's Bobby. Loads of them. And then they must have come for the water. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Just little things like that. Somebody get flattened, it would get oh, kind of yeah, slippery. That's right. But that's a shame, huh? You try and hold the bike, don't we? Come on, Meg. You can't help it, don't you? That's it then, level ground. Come on you. I won't say that when we were here before, Auntie said he tried so hard to get a picture of one of those. Really? Yes. I had I was in the kitchen and when the door knocked on the door and I was thinking, is that the door? Somebody's at the door? I never see I never rang a bell, you see, I just I, I, not automatically. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Did it, 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 when I, when I went, they were, they were talking rolls and bread and sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I, I never did nothing. Because <laughs> I never did nothing. So, so when I was sitting down, they are sitting, <laughs> getting all their bread and their sandwiches. Sandy goes, to me, like, you just sit there. They never spoke, I think, just went that pint of dinner. <laughs> well, they gave me a sandwich in a row. <laughs> That was the fun part of it. As, as, as excited as I was to see everybody, I think they were just as excited. Everybody was so welcoming. Everybody was so happy, just as happy as we were. They all opened up their houses to us. It was wonderful. It was totally wonderful. And like we all said, it's like you feel like we knew them, like we didn't skip a beat. It was great.